On this episode, we talk to Doc AI about how they're using Google Cloud for their applications, chatbots, and machine learning. So can you tell me a little bit more about what you actually use inside of Google Cloud to, like, for instance, the machine learning and any other products that you might use? Definitely. So um, a lot of what we build on the cloud is mostly on the Google Cloud. Uh, so we use many different services that Google offers. We try to be as cloud native as we can, but there are some important aspects of Google Cloud that makes our job easier and gets to market sooner. So largely our ecosystem of tools that we use on Google Cloud. So we use GKE, the Kubernetes engine. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, product from Google in my opinion. Uh, we build a lot of microservices that are based on Docker, and then we are able to roll that out on GKE as multiple nodes and pods. Uh, and it brings in auto-scaling aspects for us, which is fantastic. So uh, a lot of our data collection microservices are basically collecting data across different uh, apps and users, but also from our partners. So one line of business that Doc AI has is where we license these technologies to our partners, and they have millions of users from which we, we are able to collect the data that's coming in. So all the data that's collected by these different microservices, which has burstable capacity, are actually stored on GCS, the Google Cloud Store. So it's uh, it's important for us to understand that cloud storage provides the reliability that we need because then we can use multiple clouds if we need because it becomes a single point of entry for us to like share data across different clouds. Uh, we also use uh, many of the databases uh, that we have. We use obviously cloud cloud SQL proxy, which makes the job of like being able to connect to different services really incredibly simple for us. The other thing that we have done well on Google Cloud is be able to like build parallelization so that we can train many, many uh, jobs concurrently or simultaneously, so to speak, so we can experiment with different hyperparameters. Uh, we use um, BigQuery for a lot of our data analytics downstream, so based on how sort of users are collecting uh, information, especially around events and other aspects, we can sort of throw it at BigQuery and see what are some interesting correlations that we can see there. Uh, most of our machine learning models are built today using TensorFlow. Uh, we found that to be uh, production ready from get-go, which is something we are very happy about. Uh, and I think it's also easy to hire uh, uh, today relatively in the world of AI and deep learning. Uh, many of them are actually being trained on TensorFlow, which is a good thing uh, with the help of what Google is doing across the ecosystem. We also use some of the other specific hyper-specialized AI modules you have. For example, Google Vision API is something we use for extracting certain information out of medical, in the medical context, um, specifically around like pill bottles and bonding boxes and things like that. So you also mentioned you know, NLP a little while ago, mm -hmm. and then earlier you talked about the chatbots. Uh, mm -hmm. How are users using chatbots and what is Doc AI doing with those? Uh, it's a great question. So, um, uh, one thing I did not mention is that Doc AI also has uh, several chatbots. So, we have a direct to consumer chatbot. Uh, which is for mental health. So we have more than 600,000 users uh, on the platform. Uh, it's a chatbot that runs off of Facebook Messenger. What we've seen with chatbots is a very interesting phenomena because uh, for certain types of diseases, uh, patients prefer talking to a bot as opposed to a medical professional. Because one, medical professional are not necessarily available in their area where, where they have these issues, and bots have no judgment, so they are uh, they are not being watched or being judged by someone. So we have mental health chatbot, but we also work with a lot of our partners to sort of roll out very vertical specific uh, chatbots, for example, for uh, insurance companies where we can do member engagement. Uh, we are also building chatbots for, for very specific uh, were disease verticals uh, in the future. But what they do is that they are somewhat generalized enough that now we could take a model like that and bring our own data and throw our specific data and train an improved version of that that's somewhat hyper-focused in the domain that we have. Of course, we need a lot of data for it to improve. Uh, but then these models then become really valuable where you could engage them, for example, in chatbots where you could predict 
uh, the next set of uh, sequence of things that a user may ask so you can give them better services right away or there is enough contextual memory of the previous conversations so you know how to engage the user further. Thanks so much for coming in, Akshay, and telling us about how Doc AI is working with the cloud. Thank you, Mark. This was really exciting. I'm very happy to be here and uh, hoping to see many more talks in, in the world of healthcare that's important for the general ecosystem that Google's doing a great job with. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this conversation with Doc AI, check out the Stack Chat playlist for more great videos.